Hi guys, my name's Chloe and I am one half of the Townsend Twins. So today um, for your Keep Active Essex class, I'm going to be doing my total tone with you. Um, so we're going to be doing quite a lot of lower body and upper body. And to, just to make the upper body a little bit harder this week, we're going to try and use some tin cans. So if you've got some uh, baked beans or some taco beans in your cupboard, then grab those now. Um, so we're just gonna make the, the exercises slightly harder just by using the tin cans. If you'd prefer not to do that, that's absolutely fine. Um, the session's probably about 15 minutes, quick warm up and then a little cool down at the end. So just make sure you've got plenty of room, you've got a drink of water at hand, and we're going to get started. So um, we've got five exercises as our warm up and we're just going to do 30 seconds of each. You don't need the cans just yet. So I'm just going to get my timer on there. So just pop the cans down to the side. I have got my dog who might get involved in some of these exercises. I've tried to um, put him in the garden, but unfortunately it's raining. So uh, yes, he might get involved with a little bit of the squats or exercise that we're going to be doing. So let's get started, guys. I'm going to put the timer on. So our first 30 seconds is just star jumps. Here we go in three two and one let's go for it guys so 30 seconds here now if you need a lighter option just to get your body nice and warm you can go with a half jack but a full jack just gets the heart rate up that little bit more good we're halfway through let's do 15 seconds good job 10 seconds left lovely keep those arms going nice and strong feet out and in good job and three two and one, okay, we're gonna take across the body now. So we just punch across and take the foot out to the side as well. So we punch and punch, let's go. 30 seconds here. So this is our second exercise. You will start to feel a little bit warmer and the heart rate will come up slightly through this warm up. We've got 10 seconds, let's push it. Woohoo! good job, lovely. Okay, three. Two, we're going to go with knee lifts, let's go. So we lift the knee and we pull the arms down. So try and get a little crunch movement in the core. So you feel it working your obliques and your abdominals. Let's go, 15 seconds left, so we're halfway through. Lovely. We've got two more exercises after this. Good job, well done. Keep crunching, 10 seconds left. Woo, it's getting warm already. We've only done a minute and a half. <laughs> Lovely. Okay, three, two, this is called foot fire. So you keep your feet out and then bring them in. So out for a few counts and then bring them in. Let's go. So out, then in. Use those arms as well. Keep it nice and quick. Lovely, good. Keep it going, guys. Come on, 15 seconds left. Let's go, push and push. Nice, well done. Perfect, give me a few more. Woo, we've got one more exercise just for that warm up. Three, two, and one. And we're just gonna come forward, come down, and then back. I'll do this sideways on just so you can see. So a couple of sprints forward, and a couple of steps back, that's it. Lovely, touch the floor if you can in the middle. If it's a little bit too much, just don't come down. Just a little travel forward and back, absolutely fine. We've got 10 seconds left, and we'll have a little rest. Good, well done. Lovely, three, two, and one, lovely. Okay, just take a little stretch over for those arms. Keep the lower body moving here. Perfect, guys. Same thing other side. Lovely, make sure you breathe in there. So if you want to grab those tin cans, best time to do it is now, and I'm gonna talk you through the exercise, okay? I'm just gonna bring everything a little bit closer, just so I can see. So we've got our beans and tacos. So this is your first exercise, guys. We're gonna come down, punch, punch, okay? So let's use those cans in three, two, and one. Here we go, down, punch, punch. Good, so we're gonna try one minute here. I've already started my timer. <laughs> so you got away with 12 seconds there. Lovely, so keep it nice and strong. Push through the arms and punch those cans out to the side. So it doesn't matter if you're not using cans, that's absolutely fine, you can just do it without, no worries at all. So try and get nice and low on that squat. Make sure the knees aren't coming too far over the toes there. You don't wanna lean your body weight too far forward. Lovely, good job, okay. We've got 15 seconds left. Then we're gonna go into our second exercise, okay? So this first part is more upper body. 
even though we are doing a squat here. But we'll get into the lower body exercises in a second, all right? Okay, three, two, last one. Perfect, okay, we're gonna do two hooks on each side, okay? So one, two, one, and two. Again, you don't have to do it with the cans, but try and get a full rotation there. Lovely, keep it going nice and short. So one, two, one, two. So twisting through the core, rotate, try and get a good range of movement there in the core. That's lovely, well done, we're halfway through, keep it going. Nice, well done. So for our last 15 seconds, we're gonna go with singles and just go quick, okay? All right, the 15 seconds is coming. 15 second countdown, so singles, quick as you can, rotate. Rotate the upper core. Lovely, well done. Good, nice. Perfect, all right team. Three, two, and one. If you need a drink, you can, that's absolutely fine. We're gonna go in with our next exercise, which is two uppercuts here. Okay, so we've got one, two, so it's kind of like a bicep curl that we're doing here with our cans. Two uppercuts, let's go. Push, push, lovely. Hopefully you're feeling that. It's looking good, let's go. One, two, one, two, nice. Again, don't worry about the cans if it is getting a little bit too much. I can definitely feel it in my arms. So hopefully you guys can too, okay. We've got 20 seconds left. When that countdown comes to 15, we're gonna go with singles, okay? As quick as we can. 15 seconds left, let's go. Singles, quick as you can, push, push. That's it, more of an uppercut now. Lovely, we're doing kind of bicep curls as we were doing the doubles there. Good job, we're nearly there. Push for it. Nice, three, two, and one. Okay, our final arm exercise is shoulder press here. So we're taking both the cans up, hope you can see, and then back down, up and then down, up and then down. Good, push and down. Lovely, so bring the arms up nice and tall there. Nice, good job. This is a good one to do with the cans. If you haven't got any cans, probably won't feel it as much. So a slight weight there is good. Keep it going, we've got 30 seconds left. And then we're gonna speed it up again for our last 15 seconds. Lovely, keep the breathing going. Nice, 15 second countdown's coming. Get ready team, so we're just gonna come up and down nice and quick. Three, two and one, let's go. So up and down, feel the burn in those shoulders there. Push through it if you can. Woo, come on team, let's go, let's go. You've got eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Have a little rest, have a drink if you need to. Well done guys. So I'm just gonna stop my timer there. So we're gonna go with our next um, round of exercises, which is our lower body now, okay? So again, you can use the cans, make it slightly harder if you want to. Let's bring these there. So our first exercise, I'll quickly demonstrate first, is squat forward, come down, step back, and then we squat again, okay? So we do two squats. Are you ready? One minute starts now. Let's go guys. So come forward, squat down, come back and squat. Lovely. So we did do squat in the first round of exercises there. So you know the technique for these now. Lovely, good job, well done. So sit nice and low as you come down. Again, it doesn't need to be a quick uh, movement. You can do it slower if you need to. Lovely, we've got 30 seconds left guys. Brilliant, well done. If you wanna make it slightly harder, you can bring those cans in towards your chest. Lovely, well done. We've got 20 seconds left, and then we're gonna go into our next exercise. Brilliant, good. Come on team, 15 seconds. Well, actually, it's 10 seconds now. <laughs> Lovely. Brilliant. Three, two, and one. Okay, check out the next one, guys. So the tins come under, and you're gonna kick your leg forward. So we are still working the arms in here, but our aim is to get our leg nice and high. Good job, let's keep it going. Nice. That's it, use those arms. You'll start to feel this in those quads. My dog has suddenly decided to um, come, 
come and join in. I don't know if you can see him there. He's definitely thinking, what on earth is she doing? Good, okay, we've got 30 seconds. Let's push it. Good, if you can, go a little bit quicker. Pick up the pace now. Lovely, let's go, let's go. And push, push. Amazing. 15 seconds left. And we've got three more exercises before we come down onto the floor, okay? Whoo! Brilliant. Come on, few more. Five, four, three, two, and one. Fantastic, guys. Okay, check out my next one. So we're going to take a, um, a reverse lunge. So we step back, and knee comes down to the floor, and then step your feet back in. Step, and then knee comes down to the floor, bring it back in. So one, two, three, and four. Try and keep in time with that if you can. Then we can get the same amount in on each leg. Two, three, and four. Again, if you want to make it harder when we come down, we can bring the tins up to make it slightly harder there, okay? So one, two, three, feet together. One, two, hopefully you're feeling warm. We have got 20 seconds left. So keep the reps going if you can. Keep breathing. One, two, three, and four. It's looking good. Hopefully it's feeling good for your home. Nearly there, under 10 seconds. Whew. Three, two, and one. Okay, drink if you need it. We're gonna go straight into our swings now. So this is our next exercise. So we come down and then lift the cans up. My dog is now interested in the baked beans. Here he is. <laughs> Love it. I'm going to put these down so hopefully he will avoid um, jumping up at me. So if you guys have got those tins, keep them going. He likes to bake beans there. Lovely. Let's keep it going, team. Let's go. Woo. Down and up. Down and up. So swing the cans down, lift them up and squeeze your core and your bottom there. So we've got 25 seconds left. Good. Get nice and low. Nice range of movement through those hips, make sure you're squeezing your bottom at the top, lovely, give me a few more, Whew. nice, let's do eight, seven, six, here he is, should I sweep, I might use him, if you haven't got any tin cans, this is a good idea, maybe use your dog, down and up, lovely, so this is Sebi, he loves joining in with all my exercises, don't you, <laughs> good job guys, three, two and rest okay so our final exercise we're gonna do just quickly put my timer back on as you tap that one as well so um, the final exercise we're gonna do guys is our star jump and then into a squat okay one minute three two and one so like we did in the warm-up but this time we're breaking up in the middle with a squat and this time the legs aren't as far far apart so we're keeping it here come down lovely Let's go, just got a minute here. You'll really feel this in the legs as you do that narrow squat. Brilliant, nice. Whew, come on team, we're halfway through. 30 seconds, and then we've just got a bit of core to finish off your round. If you found this wasn't um, as tough as you'd like it to be, you can always repeat it again. You can repeat the rounds a couple of times just to really feel the burn there. 15 seconds, come on. Oh, let's pick up the pace. Oh, there we go. Feel the burn. Good job. Lovely. Three, two, last one. And breathe. Well done, team. Good job. Okay, I'm going to bring you down onto the floor for some um, core exercises to finish off, okay? Let's bring you down there. Up here, sorry, got a good view of the dog there. He's gonna join in too. So, um, guys, we're gonna do um, core exercises. We're gonna do five exercises and we're gonna try and complete these twice through if we can. We're gonna do a minute on each one to start and then 30 seconds after, okay? So our first one, make sure you can see a bit better there. First one is crunches, okay? Don't you come and jump on me. So, <laughs> I knew it. Here he is. Hello, Seb. So crunches is your first one, okay, guys? So let's go for that team. So one minute. I'm gonna put him out in the outside in the rain. Sorry, Seb. <laughs> okay, one minute of crunches, guys. Are you ready? Three, two, and one. Let's go. So we come up and then down, up and then down. 
but he's all right. Good, well done team. Up and then down, up and down, lovely. So you'll really feel this in the core. Breathe as you come up and as you come back down, okay? Good, we're halfway through already, so that's fantastic. Breathe. We're gonna go straight into our next one. I'll explain that one to you. Brilliant. Amazing, well done. Three, two, and one. So our next one, guys, we've got a single leg lowering, okay? So we're gonna bring it leg down and then up, and then the other leg down and up, all right? Let's try it now, off you go. So one, and then the other side here. Let's do it. So single and up, single and up, good job. All right, if you want to make this slightly harder, you can do both. So both legs come out and then bring them back in. Both legs come out, bring them back in, but singles is a lot nicer. Good job, let's keep it going. So out, in, out, and in. Good, breathing throughout, let's see what the time. You're doing fantastic, we're halfway through this one. So now if you want to use the doubles, you can. That's fantastic. <sighs> Lovely, good job. Brilliant, we're nearly there. Awesome guys, come on. Lovely, three, two, and one. Give your knees a cuddle, have a little rest there because those are quite tough. Good job. Right, our next one team is we're gonna go with an oblique twist. So we come up, opposite elbow, sorry, opposite hand to opposite knee, and then bring it back down. Opposite hand, opposite knee, and bring it back down. Our minute's gonna start in three, two and one off you go so up and then down up and then down good lovely well done team good job keep it going so come up relax come up relax good breathing again through out just check on the time you've done 25 seconds team so keep that going if you can up and then down up and down good job Breathing throughout, and again, try not to pull on your neck there. You want to make sure that your eye line's up towards the ceiling and your chin is tucked under. Okay, let's just check that time. You've got 15 seconds. Come on, guys! <sighs> Lovely, I'm gonna have to let the dog back in. He's soaking wet, bless him. Three, two, and one. Team, if you take um, a couple of seconds just to recover there, give me one sec. Come on, Sim. Soaking wet, <laughs> lovely, you shake that off. Well, that's quite refreshing actually. Okay, so guys, we're gonna do um, our next two exercises here. So this one, we're gonna come up to a seating position. <laughs> oh, the joys of doing workouts at home. So seated position, a V sit here, and all we're gonna do is bounce the arms. <laughs> Are you ready? Three, two, and one, let's go. So we bounce, so we stay nice and low. Sebi's doing some yoga, I think, downward dog. Lovely. Now, the more you lean back in this exercise, <laughs> the more you lean back in this exercise, the harder it is, okay? Lovely. <laughs> Good job. So we're here. Let's push. The dog makes it harder. Let's go. Let's go. Come on, team. Push and push. Yes. Hello, Sebi. Good job. 30 seconds left. Nice. If you want to, you can do small pulses there and that makes it slightly harder, okay? Nice, well done, hello. Fantastic, good. Let's do this. <laughs> oh, I hope you guys are struggling as much as me with pets and kids, dearie me. Well done. Five, four, three, two, and relax guys. Okay, if you want to use your tin cans for this next one, this makes it slightly harder. So let's grab them. And you'll probably want them too, won't you? So we're gonna try and twist one minute, okay? So twisting side to side. Are you ready? In three, two, ready, Sebi? And one, let's go. So it's twist and twist. I thought he was gonna join in. Lovely, so you can see what we're doing with the cans there. I'm gonna put them down. So twist and twist, that's it. So the cans just make it slightly harder and really get that rotation there as you're doing that V6 twist. Good job guys. So our final um, round of exercises are those five exercises again and we're just going to do 30 seconds to finish off, okay? 
lovely well done come on push it push and push rotate twist lovely breathing throughout and again if it is slightly hard for you you can just come up to um, a bit more of a seated position as to pose as opposed to going down okay let's go push push let's do it 15 seconds so if you can rotate a little bit quicker a little bit faster let's get those reps in before we repeat it one more time okay keep breathing nice well done and three two and rest guys good job have yourself a quick drink so we're going to come back down we're going to do our crunches 30 seconds on each all right let's turn that camera slightly there hopefully you won't see the dog lovely okay crunches in three two and one let's go come on push all the way to the end eye line up squeeze the core muscles at the top you can see the work in every rep okay Cool, 15 seconds left. And then we're gonna go straight into the single leg lowering. Come on guys, you're almost there, let's get through it. Feeling that burn? Nice, well done. Okay, three, two, and one. Bring the legs up, we're going single leg lowering here. So we come down and then up, down and then up. Again, if you want to make it harder guys, you go with the double leg lowering. I'm just gonna put that up. A little bit easier there that's it so double leg lowering makes it slightly harder if you want to so i'm going to show you that one because we've only got 30 seconds here okay let's go so down and then back up down and then back up come on guys let's go give me five more five four three two we're going straight into that oblique twist so we're going to come up and then back down up and then back down okay so you twist come back down twist really get that rotation in there lovely my dog's now playing with the taco bean can fabulous <laughs> good we've got two more exercises and we have completed our total tone for this week come on guys let's push through it five four three two and one lovely let's come up v sit here you ready arm bounces in three two and one let's go so here oh that's uh sebi's penguin there lovely <laughs> good job so the more you lean back the harder you're going to feel it on those core muscles okay come on push push well done 15 seconds those arm bounces as well you'll feel them working underneath your arms lovely <laughs> Good. All right, straight into the twist. Three, two, and one. Let's go. If you want to pick up the can, I've only got one now because Sebi has attacked the other one. Twist side to side. Come on. All the way. Really feel that rotation. Let's go. Let's go. This is your last 20 seconds, and then we've got a nice stretch just to finish off. Love it. Well done. Woo. Five. Four. Three, can hear him ripping up the can. <laughs> Two, one, woohoo! Well done, let's get rid of those cans so the dog has not attacked them. Look at that, fabulous. Well done. All right, guys, I'm gonna put you back up here. So hopefully we've got no more dog troubles there. And we're gonna do a lovely stretch just to finish you off. So if you just take one leg in front, one leg is behind, we've got that back heel down on the floor and I want you to just lean forward into that nice stretch there, okay? So again, as I said earlier, if um, you felt like you could do that again, then go for it. Maybe repeat the rounds twice. So you do the five exercises, repeat them again, and then go on to the lower body. So it's up to you, it makes it slightly harder, and you get a little bit more of a workout there. Lovely, well done. Perfect, guys. And let's do the same thing on the other side. So if again, leaning forward, chest comes down to the knee, and really feel that stretch in the back of the leg. Let's just move the cans again. <laughs> lovely well done good and sit back guys hamstring stretch that's the dog down there lovely <laughs> who knew a tin can would be so such a great toy for a dog fantastic guys okay couple more stretches so we're gonna have um our quads together here so fires together not quads fires together brilliant Drop it down. Same thing, other side. 
brilliant well done okay feet are wide now we're going to take our arms around the front and just really curve that spine so you feel a nice stretch down the back there lovely wonderful and arms around the back lift that chest let's move that ipad so the dog doesn't get in the shot love it well done team good okay and team we're going to stretch our arms i'm going to come down to your position there so arms one across lovely well done so make sure you have plenty of water after this if you haven't eaten definitely do it after good to um get a bit more nutrition after you've done your exercises there maybe not before because you probably feel a little bit ill stretch the arms back there guys well done so it's good you can use tin cans for quite a lot of your exercise if you haven't got any weights at home i mean if you have got um, some dumbbells and definitely use them instead of the, the tins but if you haven't it just adds a little bit extra to your workout which is quite nice good well done and a little stretch there for your neck awesome and the other side lovely guys and just to finish let's do two nice deep breaths so bend your knees breathe it in and out one more time and guys, give yourself a clap. Woo! Thank you so much for joining me and my dog. <laughs> I hope you didn't get in the way too much of the shots. But thank you so much, guys. So that's your total tone. Again, I'll just say one more time. If you want to repeat any of the rounds, you can do them a couple of times just to make that slightly harder, um, which is really, really good. Um, hopefully, we'll see you guys next week. And all of the um, timetable is on the Keep Active YouTube channel. So definitely subscribe and you'll see this class along with lots of other instructors as well. So thank you. Thank you so much. Hopefully see you soon. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.